Nishinoshima volcano erupts with the highest ash plume since 2013. And that is a boom. Now, for those of you that don't know about Nishinoshima or Western Island, it's a volcanic island located 940 kilometers south of southeast Tokyo, part of the volcanic island arc. It also has been known as Rosario Island. Originally discovered a very long time ago, but we'll get to that. This island arc volcano hasn't erupted for 10,000 years and only started erupting around 1974, according to all sources. Now, originally, and here we can see the explosive activity just happening the other day. Quite impressive. We'll get to that. Originally, the above part of the ridge of an underwater caldera, Nishoshima, was enlarged in 1974 after a fresh eruptions created a new section of the island. We have pictures of those islands. Here's Nijima and Nishonoshima. Nishinoshima and Nijima and some plumes coming off. This is going to eventually be one large island. Now, as of 2016, the island was about one square miles in size and evidence is the return of various plants and animal species due to biological surveys. There were further eruptions in 2017, followed in 2018, and then 2019, and now 2020, the largest eruption since 2013. And it is ongoing. Now, quickly, the entomology. Let's talk about the island. The island was named Jena Island when it was discovered by the Spanish ship Rosario in 1702, later renamed Rosario Island. And in 1904, the Japanese term Nishinoshima, literally the West Island, was made the official name. When the uh, new island was formed in 1973 during that major eruption, it was called Nishinoshima Shinto, literally meaning new Nishinoshima Island, but due to erosion and shifting sands, that island joined the main island and ceased to be considered a separate entity. And now we have Noshinoshima, the big island. During the early stages of the 2013 eruption, a new volcanic island was formed about the southeast from the original Nishinoshima. The island was not given an official name, but was mentioned in Japanese reports as a new island, Aturashishima, or Shinto. Now, as far as morphology is concerned, prior to the 1974 eruption, Nishinoshima was a small green island which had no eruption since the last magnetic excursion, since the Younger Dryas. The island was merely a tip of an undersea caldera volcano, some 9,800 feet in height and 30 kilometers wide at its base. But today it's just sitting a few hundred feet above the ocean surface. So an 8,300 meter eruption is very significant. It's five miles above the surface. And that's a big boom. Because many of the volcanoes are already four miles high. So when they're erupting five miles high, they're only erupting a mile above the caldera. This baby blew five miles above the ocean, above the surface. And where were we? Yeah, the island was merely the tip of an undersea volcano. Uh, the main period of activity for this island was late Pleistocene into the Holocene, according to several studies. Uh, but this is a caldera volcano in the ocean, which could cause huge freomagmatic explosions. And that means when you get lava mixing with ocean water and steam, very dangerous. Now, Japanese island volcano active since June, belches smoke reaching 8,300 meters, is the headline in the Manichi. Tokyo, the smoke plume pouring out of volcanic Nishoshima Island, part of the World Heritage designated Ogasawara Island chain, approximately 1,000 kilometers south of Tokyo, reached an altitude of 8,300 meters, according to weather satellite observations and the Japan Meteorological Agency. Now, here's a picture of some of that eruptive activity. And look at the size of this island. They are going to be selling, yeah, cheap land soon. And that's a boom. There's the eruption of the main plume extending all the way up five miles. And just a massive amount of clouds and smoke still ongoing. 
effusive, explosive eruption of the volcano continues at high levels. The Japan Meteorological Agency, the JMA, reported on the 4th of July, satellite Himawari recorded an ash bloom with large ash contents that rose 27,230 feet, 8,300 meters above the summit, and drifted north. It's considered the highest ash bloom since 2013. Very significant. Not only that, the island has expanded by 0.13 miles, square miles. So the island is growing. And the picture we are showing. Now here's the ash plume coming from the 6th of July. So this has been ongoing for two days. The amount of clouds, soot and ash up in the atmosphere, the upper atmosphere, potentially penetrating to the stratosphere is definitely going to affect the temperature this summer in these uh, around the world. And here we have some footage of the June 28th eruption at Nishoshima Volcano for your pleasure. So we can bring it on in here. And listen, that was some Japanese music. But I'll probably get demonetized if I actually play it. And you can see here how quite violent the amount of debris being ejected on June 28th pales in comparison to the July 4th eruption, which is ongoing for days. So this eruption currently has been going on for several days and began back here on around June 28th, where we can see some of the largest, newest continental masses on Earth right before your very lives. And the major eruptive event happened in the evening, so you can clearly see here some amazing Strombolian eruptive activity. Huge amounts of soot entering the atmosphere there. And links for this video will be below. Quite a show. Very difficult to get information from there, though. Nishoshima Volcano here. We can see the Caldera sub submarine volcano is approximately 215 feet above the surface. That's it. It's not that high. And it is quite active, and it is growing laterally in many directions. The latest sa satellite images... From today, showing major plumes emanating from that and continuing, has been continuing for 48 continuous hours. So quite a significant event over here. I will lead you over to the Smithsonian Institutional National Museum of Natural History Global Volcanism Program page on Nishinoshima, where you can bone up on all the deformation history, emission history, photo gallery, and on everything. This baby has been cataloged at VEI-2 back in the last major eruptions in 2013. This one may be VEI-2-3, but this has potential to be growing because it's an ongoing event. And phreatomagmatic eruptions are not impossible. There's one right there pictured back in 2013. I hope you got something out of the video. Volcanoes, they be exploding. It is predicted during grand minimas that earthquake activity increases as well as volcanoes. We've been reporting on the facts for your pleasure. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance in the future we're entering, which is one of geologic and cosmic catastrophe before your very lives. We love each and every one of you. Thanks for sharing this video. Thank you to all our one-time donors, our Patreons. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that's a boom. Thanks for watching. Share this video. Or click on one of those other squares. However you do it.